Hello, Capricorn. It is time for your Venus ah, retrograde reading for October to November 1st for this current year. Hooray. Nice to see you guys again. Um, I'm still doing personal readings, so if you guys want one, just hit me up in my email. It's in the description below, and we'll go from there, right? I think you could send money through my email, too, because that's linked to my PayPal, because I don't know if that link works, because I'm not the brightest, <laughs> and I haven't entirely figured that out, so I gotta actually figure, figure it out, you know? Ah, oh, good times. Good times. I hope you guys are having a wonderful retrograde. Seems like everyone in the woodwork I used to know just all of a sudden wants to be my fucking friend again. And it's just like, oh, Lord, get the hell away from me, you weirdos. That nostalgia seems to be kicking in a lot, too. And I don't know how to explain that one. Maybe there were some false, not genuine offers, replica of offers. Someone offered something that wasn't real or genuine or whatnot. It, it's like not the real thing. Like, you know, walk in your house and you realize everything in your house you own is replaced by a replica kind of vibe, you know, like. No whammies, Capricorn. So let's begin with this special reading. I got... This in the center is someone needing to weigh options out, and they're not coming up with, like, the best. Here's, like, freaking Capricorn energy with this, too, like, weighing out the dark side of an option. Then we got the star, someone not entirely healing, someone probably being arrogant, maybe an Aquarius. And someone losing more than they are gaining with the Nine of Pentacles reversed. On this side, we have... The Prince or King of Pentacles. Someone riding in slowly but surely. Very much established within themselves. Got all their shit. They got a pretty religious looking staff. They got a bull pulling them along. On this side we have the Knight of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Someone retreating from communication. Someone who isn't talking. Someone who doesn't want to speak. Someone who's probably giving... Um, a silent treatment or just leaving no expression of communication, doesn't want to talk at all, or is giving really flighty responses. On this side, we have temperance, call for patience, compromising. On this side, we have someone be trying to stay secure. Maybe this pay or knight of swords who's not riding back away from this communication they're trying to keep their security this is fortifying like look at this this is all fortified by the elements keeping everything secure like a big ass um fort on this side we have a judgment call with the aeon and on this side we have oh there's capricorn staying in like bondage because they're getting something out of it Huh. Maybe probably not what they really want, though. Like staying bound in the situation despite the fact you don't want to be in it. Even though you have control the entire time. But it might not even be us that are that's in that situation. It could be, but I'm not sure, right? Huh. I don't know which side of the angle it is. Like, someone's being arrogant, sure, but I'm not sure if it's just arrogance or someone trying to fix themselves in a situation because, like, you know, here's the Knight of Discs. You know, he's very slow. He's very delayed with delivering something, right? Oh, I saw another one flip, but maybe I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. And it seems like there's a lot of disappointments that can't be get gotten over, like, Someone has a lot of regrets and disappointments that they just can't let go of. Okay. Over on this side, looks like someone was a little bit too exasperated. 
Like, they were, like, fighting off, and then they felt like somebody was coming against them. As a... King of Pentacle. Like, someone, like... Like, they were on the defensive and lost uh, as the King of Pentacle. But I don't know if... Like, okay, here's a lack of needing to weigh an option and being a bit arrogant. But it's just like someone was coming against them. Which is kind of almost what which is what stems from this, right? Like, someone being arrogant and needing to heal and them not being able to come weigh out their options or whatever. It just feels like it felt like people were coming against them. as the king of pentacles, right? On this side, indolence, inactivity, not wanting to do anything, laziness. You know, almost letting go needs to be. Like, no action, which kind of goes with this knight of swords up here, not communicating. Just needs to be let, let go of. But there's still cups flowing, though, even though they all aren't working. Not to the way they should be, anyway. On this side, we got, like, enabling behavior with this patience. Or maybe they're just waiting to see if the fruit won't rot as much on the tree. Where on this side, it's like the Wheel of Fortune, Saturn, Sagittarian energy is just stuck. Because someone wants to stay secure, right? Now on this side, we have a prince or a king of wands riding in. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Maybe somebody who's going to mediate the situation, or someone who's got to be in to steal the show. Be the spotlight. Be the absolute sun that they can be. Just burn everything with the power of their flamboyant outfit and all the fire that stems from them. Like, look at that cape. Look at that hat. And on this side, we have someone hiding secrets with the priestess. Someone's hiding that they want to let go because they're stalled by the high priestess. And that's the burden. That's what's keeping them in bondage. Which, you know, it's pretty futile. Like, they're holding back on something with fertility, Seven of Swords. They just want to get away from it all. They want to sneak away. They just want to go. They don't want to talk about it. Like they're refusing to. Maybe, maybe it bothers them more than what they realize. Like, you know, it is sort of just like mentality, not just communication. So it's like, maybe they don't want to talk about it because like it bothers them somehow. And there's a call for change and transformation. Maybe they're changing their ways. Maybe they're becoming a different person with the death card. Uh, Scorpio's card at that. And they're be trying to be decisive with the Queen of Swords, like looking at everything critically, but making the right decision on whose head to come off. Maybe they're just not saying anything because they know that they're not the person they used to be. They're changing. And they're becoming the Queen of Swords. Over here, there might be a truce. Drop one? No. We have some justice playing out with adjustment. This is Libra's card. Someone might be thinking of like how to balance things out. Oh my goodness. Just all of these. I know there was this one. I thought I saw another one. Oh, please don't tell me I lost the card. I'll have to check. Here is a Prince of Discs who is not really moving any faster but is going much slower with offering something if they have anything to offer. Did I seriously like just lose a card somewhere or did I just imagine that? Cause like, fuck. Okay, then you can come here and help if you want. Hmm. 
Sorry, I just gotta make sure I didn't lose one, because I will. Because that's how I be sometimes. I don't think I did. I just swore there's an extra one I dropped out, but I'll check the cards here in a little bit. Okay? We got this guy over here who isn't really in a hurry to offer anything. I really, I swear, if I lost a card, I'll be so upset. Hi, kitty. What are you doing, fat kitty? Oh. We got someone spying out for some information. And someone looking to gain a victory by spying on that information. One more advice card, please. In order to manifest what it is that they want. There we go, Capricorns. That was your reading for this retrograde. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.